Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hoagie C's here, back with another YouTube video. Today we are going to be opening up this Umbreon uh, 25th anniversary collection box. These things only come in Chinese, I believe. So let's just cut straight to the chase. So these are like the main event, I would say, for the celebrations event on the 25th anniversary, just for China. So instead of putting the like classic collection cards like the Charizard, the Umbreon, Gold Star, Blastoise Base, any of those, they actually just put them as promos. So right off the bat, you do get this really nice looking box as well as there are the promos that are pretty much the main reason why you would ever open one of these bad boys. So I'm going to make sure this is focused. We're going to set this to the side for a second. Just we'll do all at once. We got it looks like five booster packs of Chinese celebrations, which is I think the exact same as Japanese. You do get a display case, which I actually love these. These are beautiful, um, very well made. They take a second to put together, and you do need a screwdriver. Luckily, I have one handy right here. That's what they look like super nice um yeah nothing more to say on those we get this deck box and the sleeves so that is all that you get that comes on the inside of this box super nice looking box uh these are the umbreon sleeves and these are these are to die for honestly i still don't use them for personal cards because i'm not really a fan but they are the glossy ones, so you actually can look at them without just dying. And normally I'll just explain how these are on the inside, but I'll open this one just so you guys can see. I don't play the TCG, so I don't really need a deck box, but it's still a nice little tiny box. You do get these on the inside, the little dividers. And yeah, it has like a nice Alcantara feel to it. It's definitely not Alcantara, but that's the best way to describe it. So, so we got the packs and we will open those. And then we do have the promo cards. And I do have some mystery packs at the end that we're going to be opening. And trust me, it is going to be worth the wait. So first off is the Umbreon Gold Star. The main event. And whoa, that one is looking perfect. I was going to sleeve this in one of the Umbreon sleeves. But I am not going to anymore because that might be a... Beckett contender. Wow. That might be the best one I've ever had. Uh, next up, we do have the Rockets Admin. And I'll put these ones in the Umbreon sleeves. So you guys can kind of have a look at what these like look like on a card. They're really nice. All of them um, are look really good. They have the Charizard one from the Charizard collection box. Venusaur, Rayquaza, Blastoise. So, those sleeves are awesome. I'm obsessed with those. Um, and then we have the Cleffa. And I like the gold border on these. They look super good. Can't complain about that. I think the, like, Japanese celebrations, and I guess Chinese as well, are just better. It's also, something to know. I don't know if I have any Japanese cards next to me. I do. I don't know if anybody knew this, but Chinese cards are like the same as Japanese cards, like in terms of artwork and like how they have the cooler borders, but they are the same background as, or just the back of the card is the same as English, which I thought was interesting. It's like half and half. And then we do have our booster packs and we will get right into these. These are super nice as well. I love these. They don't have any of the classic collection cards that we do in celebrations in English so you are chasing these reverse holographic cards and I want to get that Lugia in the reverse hollow pattern and you guys will hopefully see what that's like it's like a square hollow so no way we got the Pikachu this is my first time pulling that one like this it has the square hollow and that's the Pikachu so uh, let's see let me grab out that other one if you guys can see the difference in hollow patterns I'm trying to get a good angle it's not catching it very well. There we go, right there. That's the spot. This one does not have anything of the sort. So those are what you're chasing. So they have like every card, I think. 
made in that variation. So I would love to get the Lugia. I've gotten the Dialga twice, which was the first one I wanted, but now it's just that Lugia. I got the Mew recently as well. There you are, Lugia, here to tease. Come on. Oh, no way, we got another one. We got Sogelio this time. I don't know if I've ever pulled this Sogelio in the reverse or just like the full hollow pattern. I don't even know what you would call that. That's some confusing stuff. Uh, we got three more packs left. Usually, like, we've opened up quite a bit of these, so I'm kind of aware of like the pull rates on them. We go whole boxes sometimes without hitting a single one of those reverse cards. So they're definitely not like everywhere. If that makes sense. And you only get five packs, which isn't a large amount. To be able to oh, what? No way. I've I've never pulled that one for myself. I pulled that once for someone live breaks. Woo. So we got the... I don't know if this is really going to be able to be shown. Actually, I could probably do it like this. I mean, either way, it's not like that crucial of an artwork to line up exactly. But you got all the Pikas, and that is not focused. You get all the Pikas. So that's actually really nice. And then one last pack, probably nothing because we had really good pulls in terms of like the reverses. We got that full Pikachu card split into pieces. We got another Pikachu. Groudon, come on. Lugia, please, please, please. And we got Zacian V. And that one is not, I don't know if you can get this one in the square one. I've never seen it. Maybe that's like a chase card or something. But okay, we do have our mystery packs that I wanted to open for y'all. I don't know why I said y'all. I haven't really said y'all on the channel. Uh, we got three packs of Thunder Clap. These are Japanese packs. And then we do have two packs of Ultra Shiny GX. So we're going to save those for the end. And let's start off with Thunder Clap. Ooh, that is just atrocious how I said those packs there. <laughs> Anyone that likes the satisfying factor of cards just dipped. We got the Stunfisk to start us off. Can we get... Oh, Macargo. Let's go. That's my boy. Um, I'm not... I don't know. I forget that Macargo is even a Pokemon, to be honest. I feel like we do not see Macargo very often. Kind of a good thing. So, at the time of this video coming out, we just are about to have Silver Tempest come out in the US. It is few days so i'm super excited for that i've kind of kept myself isolated from the pull rates just because i i like experiencing the sets on my own uh that's why i kind of go light on the japanese packs as well like because you get them way early like paradigm trigger you get to like see all the new artworks really soon we opened up probably 40 boxes at least i would say just for live breaks we have not hit that lugia yet so we got the area dose holographic I have quite a bit of those, but yeah, so we um, opened up like 40. We never hit the Lugia alt or the Rainbow Beastar. Other than that, we master set. We were really close to not master setting. Well, actually, wait, we also need Regirago Beastar. Other than that, master set. So that was nice. That was for live breaks. I opened up more than half of the boxes though that I just said. All I wanted was the Lugia and I didn't get it. So it was pretty unfortunate. I don't know if I'll continue to chase it. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Because, like, Lugia is one of my boys. One of my few boys. I have, like, top four favorite Pokemon. Rayquaza, Umbreon, Articuno, and Lugia. And if those are any sort of alt arts or something, I gotta have them. And the Japanese one, showing that it's just incredibly tough to pull, makes you want it so much more. Like, the Umbreon VMAX alt art from Eevee Heroes. It's so much more valuable in Japanese. So it just makes it that much cooler to have. But there we go. One of the top four. We got Articuno GX. Last pack of Champion Road. This is an awesome set. I love just the regular hollows from these, though. That's what I usually chase. But I think I've hit them all by now. Slacking. And here we go. This is These are pretty expensive packs. So wish me the luck. This is hidden fates but just in japanese way more expensive all the poles are extremely expensive i'm gonna scoop back just a tiny bit oh nice. we got our first holo 
We got Bugs, Bugs. We got Zorark GX. Can we get anything at all? Oh, I swear. I did skip over the Prism card. I kind of always do that. It's not a Pokemon, but this has like a Prism pattern to it. Really cool. You can get like a bunch. Of... If anything, you might be able to get every card in the set as that Prism. So I wonder if there's like some crazy ones. Um, and then next up, last but not least, the last pack, Magic. If this isn't something crazy, I might cry. <laughs> I might have saw a full art shiny. Could you imagine? Yo, it is a full art shiny. Let's go. That's probably the worst one, though. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, we got that really nice Marshadow. And it looks like Surviper is our um, prism reverse, if that's the correct word. But I will quickly show this one one more time. Well, you guys, the camera kind of messed up a little bit. So we'll probably just, we're going to end the video right there. That was actually the ending. So perfect timing. That is insane. What are the chances? But okay, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of a little bit more unique than what we have been doing. I wanted to kind of spice things up a little bit. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you like this video and if you would want to see any more of those boxes. And definitely subscribe. We're going to be doing some giveaways for all the subscribers, and there's not very many, so you guys are going to want to be early on that. But thank you guys for being here. Pokey Steez out.